Postgres, a relational database system for the modern developers. Hi, welcome to my channel Tech Learning. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Postgres relational database on Ubuntu 20.04. Cool thing is about this database, it is an open source. You can use it for internal projects. Many of the companies are switching to this production database, which is pretty cool. In this video, we will learn how to install the Postgres database and PG Admin 4, which is a management console tool for Postgres. So let's go ahead and get started. All you need to know to just watch this video till the end and press the like button if you like this video. So we are on my our terminal. So uh, first of all, we will uh, install or update the system software batch package using the apt command. Now we have to install the package of Postgres SQL. Now it can be done using the sudo apt install Postgres SQL command. install postgres sql and its contribution files so we are installing it so once it gets installed we will try to check the connections for the postgres and check the status of the postgres first So let me first identify whether the active Postgres SQL uh, connections is active or not. So we can check uh, via active status command or enable command as well as check, we can check the Postgres uh, status. So as we can see it is an active state right now. It is working fine and it is agreed. So it means the Postgres cluster is running fine in your, in your system and now let us uh, uh, create a database. See, it is ready for accepting the connection. We are good. Now let us connect it to the super user first. And now create a, um, now let, let us create a user. Let us now connect it to the super user and now let's create a, a another super user for our work. So I'm creating a dev underscore test as a super user and I'll give the rules. But the password, password you can give according to yourself. So you can see the user role is created. Now let us create, uh, let us give, uh, create a database. And grant the role. I have created a database called testing and now we are granting roles to this database users with this user super private users We have a file called pb pb admin file conf file so in which we need to uh, be sure that whether the connection is secure or not so we have to check on it okay uh, vim is not installed in my um, system so let me first install the vim using sudo apt get vim install then so once it get done we will check the pbhba conf file in the pbhba conf file you have to identify the host and local it should be md5 it should be status with the md5 as shown here so yeah here if you see the connection is host accepting all the connections with this local ip address only and it is not the peer it is md5 
for both IPv4 and IPv6 as shown here yeah so it should be MD5 once it's done and once we are clear with this then ok we are good and now we can install the PG admin for management console let us first restart the cluster of Postgres and check the status whether it is working or not so once it is working we will install the PG admin 4 so yeah if you check the status it will show you the active status so it means the Postgres cluster is come back and it is running fine so now let us get the package of the PG admin 4 and the key public key for that to access the admin console you need to install it now we are installing the package sudo apt get install curl first because I don't have the curl in my system so let me download the key so it's a public key which is used to handle the management console so I downloaded it. Now let me download the package of the PG admin 4. So it's downloading the PG admin 4 main package right now with the updated values. Yeah, package is installed. Don't worry, I will provide all the commands in my uh, comments. You can check it from there. Now let us install the PG admin 4 package. Why sudo apt get install PG admin 4? It will download the package you just need to wait once it's done we will check the web server for the pg admin for whether it is active or not we will check so pg admin 4 is downloaded in my system now you can go to the search application and you can type the pg admin you will find this pg admin 4 applications you need to open it once you can click on it and it will start the pg admin console for your web server so you can see the pg admin server pg, PG admin server is getting started so let's wait so yeah here you can see the admin console is showing you here you need to give the password when you have set up that uh, user password at the time of uh, creating the user now you go to the server you need to set up another server for your work so you need to set up there is no setup right now there is no server setup right now so we can go to the add server and we can add the server with any name so um, type it according to your name type the host name where you want to uh, host this server so it should be in local so I will post 127.0.0.1 one and uh, you can give the username password which you have uh, created at the time of installation so we have created if you remember that we have created an another uh, testing user for that so we are using there we are using that user here so we instead of using the postgres super user we will be using our uh, an additional user which we have created for work go to the database go to the testing database which we have created earlier go to the schema and go to the table create a new table here by clicking on right click on it and give the table name i will say book or i will say stock okay and then i'll give the uh, a column value as name we can add many column size according to your table so we will adding uh, just for test purpose I'm taking as a name as well as I'm providing it as a character so I'll put as a character or I can put as a cat and then I save it I'll save it if once you have inserted the data in it you can click on write and you can run a SQL on it by checking the rows how many rows data we have view the data all the rows and you can check that's how the PostgreSQL database can work or the database is set up now and you can run your queries according to your projects so, and you can shut down this cluster at the end 
So this is the PG admin for.